Hi there, I bought these new assets from an asset bundle, but that asset bundle is made for Unreal. And yesterday I was streaming the process of me trying to convert the scene from Unreal, which you can see here, to Unity. So this is the end result. There's still some materials that I have not converted, but most of them are converted and this is how it looks. So I'm using a free look camera to move around so it's not as smooth, but you can see that it looks pretty good. So if you're actually interested in the package, it is possible to convert it from Unreal to Unity and get this kind of result. You can find the link in the description of where I got these assets. But the process of converting, this took me two hours to convert, and that is, I've never done this before, so it's the first time I'm doing, so it took me a while to figure out the difference between the Unreal and how the texture setups are different, what's the fastest way of converting it. But overall, I think the process should take a little bit faster than what it took me. And if you decide to get the package and you want to convert, I'll give a quick walkthrough through the process uh, that you can go through to convert it. Here in Unreal, um, so I did uh, Medieval Town, and these are the files that are provided by this asset. And you can go for a specific item and convert that. So like you see here, here's the four meshes, and these are the materials. So you'll have to recreate the materials in Unity if you want to do that. And also you have the textures here. What you can do if you want to export specific mesh, you can actually select the object that you want to export and go to asset action and do bulk export. Then you can specify where you want those assets to go. So I'm gonna create a new folder, let's call it stone. So this is the process if you like want a specific asset from this. This is the way you can go about it. So let's select this. And you have some options here and I did turn off level of detail options. So it's not gonna create another mesh for me and for the collisions you can do whatever you want you can turn them on or turn it off click export and that's going to export those files for us so right here i can go into the stone folder that i created and it does use the folder structure of the assets that that were located in here so you can see here that it's inside game and then medieval town mesh and rock so we'll have to go through the same structure here and here are the FBX files and also the textures that we have here. So these are all the things that you need for these meshes. Now, if you want to export the whole scene, you can go to file and export all. And that's going to export like I have here, the beautiful town FBX. So it's going to export the whole scene setup of all the meshes. And then you can import it as just one FBX. But you'll still have to export textures separately. So what you can do is filter by texture. And right here, you can see that I have the list of all the textures that are in this package. You can select all of them by hitting Control A, and then you can go to Asset Action and Bulk Export. You can specify the location where you want it to be stored. So let's store it in a stone folder. And you'll see that now inside the game, Medieval Town, you have all the full hierarchy of the assets. So you can find all of the textures here now. So some of the textures are TG and some of of them are bitmaps, but you can import both of those types in Unity. Now let's take a look at the importing. So I'm gonna go to the mesh and do the rock that I did here. And let me open up Unity and I'm gonna get out here and import the whole folder, rock. So now there is that folder in my assets. And I am using Unity 2022. So it might be different in other unities, but in this one, so we have the rock C channel, which is the base channel for the color. Then we have the metallic texture, which contains ambient inclusion, metallic, and also roughness map. But in Unity, I'm using universal render pipeline, and it has a different setup than what Unreal Engine uses. But in the specter of this texture, we can actually switch to run 
uh, switch it around with an option that we have here for Swizzle. That's just new to 2022, but this is a great option that we have here. And in the ERP, what we need to do is use the B channel on all the RGBs, which has the metallic setting for it. And then on the alpha channel, we want to use the inverse G. Unreal uses G for the roughness map and Unity uses a glossy map, which is inverse of roughness. So that's why you want to do the minus G. Also make sure that the alpha source is set from grayscale. Otherwise the alpha channel is not going to be working properly. Click apply. And that's going to change the settings for the import of this metallic textures. And now for the normal, we can just switch it to a normal map and apply. So that is the process for the textures. And now we can create a material. So let's call it a MROC test because I think I already have that material created. And for this material, we can connect the base map color, which is the rock underscore C, and then the T underscore M for metallic map, and then the normal. So that is our texture, and you can see right here. And now you have to select uh, these meshes that were created. Unfortunately, I can't select all of them and change that setting in all of them. So you have to do it separately. And for the MI rock right here, material we need to pass this and right there you can see that the material is applied and the rock looks much better now so you can do the same thing for the other ones so now if i add that rock in my scene let me see if i can find where it is and let's try to move it towards the camera so right there, that's the rock that I've just imported and we can rotate it. So that's the material applied to that mesh that we just imported. So that's the process you can take for one specific item. But if you want to import the whole scene like I did, you can do the export of the whole scene, which I have right here. And then you can connect the materials that you create in the materials options and you'll have to recreate those materials. And after you do that, click apply and the whole scene gets materials applied to it. Now the textures that you might get are different. So you might see different naming conventions, which is not the greatest, but you can still recreate it. So right here, you can see that the sand has another one, which is I think ambient occlusion. And then there's also the underscore R, which is just roughness channel. So that means that the metallic is not present there. For this one, you can use the setup that I have here, which is you use alpha from grayscale. And then for the settings for swizzle, you just set zeros for the RGBs since the metallic is not present. And for the alpha channel, you can use the inverse of the G channel. So that's how I've recreated this scene. Now for the question, is it worth it to purchase these assets if you have to do all these conversions? It depends on your situation. If these assets actually look pretty good for you and you can see how you can use them in your game, it is up to you if you want to go through all of this work to use these assets. So it really depends for what you're trying to do. But thanks for watching. I hope this information gives you a little bit about the conversion process from Unreal assets to Unity assets. And if you're just trying to figure out if you want those assets or not, then this helps you make that decision for you.